Growing up, I was blessed with parents that took me to church every Sunday and Wednesday and, well, pretty much any time the church doors were open. I attended Sunday school, I heard the Bible stories, I watched the Bible movies and sang the songs. But when I was about 12 years old, I was working with this older Korean guy named Simon and one day Simon asked me the question, how do you know you're a Christian? Well, being the well-churched young man that I was, I quickly answered with the best answer my 12-year-old brain could come up with and I exclaimed to him, because my mom told me so. And I, I knew as soon as I said it how ridiculous it sounded, but I didn't know what else to say. Simon just looked at me and in his broken English Korean accent said, no. He would continue to ask me that same question every time I saw him. And every time I saw him, I would answer with some uh, rehearsed Sunday school version of an answer. And he would just look at me and say, no, try again. You see, I thought I knew what it meant to be a Christian, but there was no change in my life. I was only fooling myself. Listen to what it says in James 1, 19 through 25. Understand this, my dear brothers and sisters, you must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Human anger does not produce the righteousness God desires. So get rid of all the filth and evil in your lives and humbly accept the word God has planted in your hearts, for it has the power to save your souls. But don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourselves. For if you listen to the word and don't obey, it's like glancing at your face in a mirror. You see yourself, walk away, and forget what you look like. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says and don't forget what you heard, then God will bless you for doing it. Over the years, Simon never let me forget the first answer that I gave him, but he taught me a valuable lesson that I would learn to apply in my life for the rest of my life. It's not enough to come to church on Sunday and Wednesday and to sing the songs. It's not enough to just glance at the Word of God for an hour a week or watch a two minute morning devotion and walk away expecting that to sustain us. There must be repentance. We must be constantly in His Word, meditating on it, writing His words on our hearts, and then do what it says. Because when we do this, we will not forget the words of the Lord. And then we can tell the world how he has set us free, changed our lives, and God will bless you for doing it.